Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss what happens when you have the surface area of a figure but then they start changing the information. So let us take the following drawing. We have 5, 3 and 2. If we have if we have the same drawing but then I say, let us multiply the length, breadth and height by a factor of 3. So what are they saying? They are saying, let us multiply each dimension by 3. What does that mean? That means that I am multiplying the side by 3, I am multiplying the side by 3, and I'm multiplying the side by 3. So I'm multiplying the length, the breadth, and the width. You know that the surface area of this drawing was 2 into length times breadth plus 2 into length times breadth plus 2 into length times breadth. Now what has happened? We're going to be using the same formula but now we're going to have 2 and instead of 5 we're going to have 15 times instead of 3 we are going to have 9. Can you see they are changing? Plus, instead of having 2 times 3, we are now going to have 6 times 9. So we have 2 into 6 times 9. Plus, and then again 2. So remember, we have done the right hand side and left hand side. We've done the bottom and the top. Now we need to do the front and the back. We know the side is going to be exactly the same because it's opposite side. So it's going to be 6 times times 15 which is equal to 558 centimeters squared remember centimeters squared because I'm using area if we take the surface area of the new one that we've calculated so it's 558 and we divide it by the surface area of the old one which is 62 so we would have had 558 divided by 62 which would equal to 9 now what do you notice what is the link between 9 and 3 the link between 9 and 3 is equal to 3 squared what happens is when we are working with surface area or more correctly, when we are working with area, we are working in a two-dimension figure. So we're only using two dimensions. We're using length and breadth at all times. So either you're only using the square, or you're only using the rectangle at the bottom, or you're only using the rectangle on the top. But you're only using two dimensions at a time. So what happens is the adjustment is also only two dimensions. What was the adjustment? Three. And so the adjustment was 2 times, so it would be 3 times 3, which is 9. So had you not wanted to do the entire calculation again, all you had to do was say, what is the old area? So my old area is equal to 62. Then I would say, okay, so what is the adjustment? It was 3. So I'm going to say 62 times 3 times 3. Or you can say 62 times 3 squared. Knowing that area is length times breadth, it is a squared function. So you got 62 times 9, which is equal to 558. Okay, now let us look at another shape. If we take the shape of a cylinder... We had previously done that the surface area of a cylinder for this specific figure was 48 pi. Now let us do one with the effects of k. So we've got 5 and we've got 3. So we know the surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Now let us do an adjustment again of 3. So now what do we have? We have 2 pi 
But what is our R? Our R is no more 3. It is now 9. So I have 9 squared plus 2 pi. Again, our R is 9. And what is our height? 15. So we have 162 pi plus 270 pi, which is equal to 432 pi. Now when we worked it out earlier, we worked out the surface area to be 48 pi. If you take the new divided by the old, what do we get? 9, which is equal to 3 squared. Which means that if you didn't want to do the entire calculation, all you had to do was say 48 times 3 squared. Why 3 squared? Because we know we're working with area and the adjustment was 3. So we have 48 times 3 squared which would equal to 432 centimeters squared. Why squared again? Because we are working with area. Thank you for watching.